In this short presentation, we will be looking at the concept of time within sonography. We found several interesting quotes in Essays in Sonography, written by Arnold Aronson. It does not matter where the production in question, whether the production in question is illusionistic or presentational, we sense the spatiality of the stage with its textures, volumes and dimensions. The actors we see are like us. They have volume, they move through space and thus they move through time. In order to cross the stage, exit through a door, sit on a sofa, eat a meal or engage in a sword fight, they will have to move across visible and knowable distances and we can reasonably know how much time will elapse as they do so. Although the fictional time of the play may not coincide with the real time of the theatre, on some level we know that the actor exists in real time just as the fictional character he or she creates exists in the fictive time of the narrative. We know that as audience members we are passing through time while watching the production. What needs to be presented to us is how much time the characters are passing through. Although the actors are sharing the same time as us, the movements or actions of characters on stage can occupy a larger or smaller amount of time. Robert Wilson is famous for his use of light in his productions and his furniture design. He focuses on the passing of time through his lighting. Robert Wilson said that the most important part of theatre is light. His set designer for his play, The Civil Wars, Tom Cam, describes his philosophy. A set for Wilson is a canvas for the light to hit like paint. If you know how to light, you can make shit look like gold. I paint, I build, I compose with light. Light is a magic wand. So how does light relate to time? Light changes in relation to time, so without light, would everything that happened in theatre be moving only through real time? Essays on Sonography quotes, Theatre, like a novel, can leap across time and space with a few words, but on moment to moment level, theatre had to obey natural laws. A character who entered through a door had to transverse a quantifiable space in order to reach a table, say. This took the this took the same time on the stage that an equivalent action would take in the real world. Time could be negated only by a convention such as closing the curtain that implied the obliteration of space. Adolf Appiah is a Swiss architect and theorist of stage lighting who is best known for his designs of Wagner's operas.
Adolf was strongly against painted backdrops as he felt that shade was equally, equally as important as light because it sets the performance in time and space. We thought about this quote in relation to the production we saw at the National, The Light Princess. This show had a lot of 2D created backdrops. The reason we felt that this worked is that they layered them to show a sense of depth and false perspective. It did not look like a school play. We agree that a, the flat 2D backdrop leaves little to the imagination and restricts the depth created by shadow and light and the dark. We find them very striking but somewhat unrealistic in terms of theatre spaces and budget. We feel that the set itself is the performance and could overtake the value of the script and the acting. They may not complement each other. Some of the sets are more a piece of architectural art than the practical spa stage space to perform in. Appia says, Our present stage scenery is entirely the slave of stage painting, which pretends to create for us the illusion of reality. But this illusion in itself is an illusion, for the presence of the actor contradicts it. He said this in 1902. Over the time we were researching these practitioners and theories, we have come to see that perhaps the most important element of portraying time is light, and it is something that must go hand in hand with the set itself. The set must have the dimensions and the potential to depict time through changes of light and shade. Thanks!